Keep Miss Kate here. Today at baby time, we're going to talk about families. Now, raise your hand if you live in a family. Who lives in a family? Yeah, I, I live in a family too. So we're going to look at some families. And I actually, I have some, some puppets. And maybe you have these people in your family. Maybe you don't. Every family looks different. And we're going to talk about that. But some families have one of these guys. Hello, how are you? This is a dad. Hi, kids. Right? So that's a dad. Let's see who's next. Okay. And then we also have a mom. Hi, kids. And some families have one of these people, and I'm one of these people. Hello. Yeah, this is a sister. So anybody have a sister? So maybe you do, maybe you don't. How about this guy? Some of you may have a brother. Hello, I'm a brother. So maybe you do, right? Maybe you have a big brother. Maybe you even have a little brother. And then some families have one of these. Hi, I'm a baby, right? And so maybe you, you are the baby or maybe you're a little bit bigger and you have a baby. Maybe you don't have a baby at all, but this is baby time. So chances are you are a baby. And what do the babies say? They say, Right? They cry a lot. Can you cry like a baby? <laughs> Good job. Good crying. You got that one, right? All right, but we need to sing our Hi, Hello, and How Are You song. So let's count to three. One, two, three. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? And how are you today? I hope everyone's great. Okay, let's do our stretch. And this is a stretch that if you're able, please stand up. If you're not able, you can do it in your seat. Grown-ups, you can help your kids stretch if they need it. And this is called up, down, turn around. Here we go. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders and say hello. One more time, let's try it a little bit faster, you ready? Up, down, turn around, touch the sky, touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders and say hello, hello everyone. And let's have our first story of the day. And this is by my friend Todd Parr. I love him. And this is called The Family Book. And this will show us kind of, we know I said that some families look different. Maybe you'll identify with one of the families in this book. Let's see if one of these families looks like your family. Some families are big. Some families are small. Some families are the same color. And some families are different colors, but all families like to hug each other. Some families live near each other, and some families live far from each other. Some families look alike, and some families look like they're pets. All families are sad when they lose someone they love. Some families have a stepmom or stepdad and stepsisters and stepbrothers. And some families adopt children. Some families have two moms or two dads. And some families have one parent instead of two. All families like to celebrate special days together. Some families eat the same things, and some families eat different things. Some families like to be quiet, and some families like to be noisy. Ow! Some families like to be clean, and some families like to be messy. Some families live in a house by themselves, and some families share a house with other families. But 
all families can help each other be strong, right? We're all stronger with our families, that's for sure. So that's the family book, and I hope you saw your family within there somewhere. And now it's nursery rhyme time, and we're going to celebrate a baby in nursery rhyme time. What do you think? And this is called Pat a Cake, Pat a Cake. So let's start with clapping hands. Pat a Cake, Pat a Cake, Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it. Pat it, mark it with a B, get that baby's belly, and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time, now make sure you get that B in the baby's belly, and if your baby can't clap their own hands yet, clap them for them. Here we go. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with the bee and put it in the oven for baby and me. Yay! Great job. And let's do another rhyme. This is called Grandma's Glasses. Here we go. Here are Grandma's glasses. Here is Grandma's hat. This is the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. Here are Grandpa's glasses. Here is Grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his arms, just like that. Okay, we're gonna try it again. And I wanna to apologize to grandpas. I usually make my grandpa grumpy in this rhyme, and I don't know why, because grandpas are lovely. But there we have it. I guess to make him different from grandma. Here we go, you ready? Here are grandma's glasses. Here is grandma's hat. This is the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. Here are grandpa's glasses. Here is Grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his arms, just like that. Good job. Yay! I love it. Okay, and now, how about a nod to the dads out there? Do you want to have a nod to the dads? This is called Shark in the Park, and this book makes me laugh. Here we go. And now that the weather is getting nicer, maybe we can go to the park, right? We'll go to the park, and I hope if you go to the park, you don't see a shark. Down at the park, a little boy is testing out his brand new toy. What is that? Yeah, it's a telescope. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky, he looks at the ground, he looks left and right, he looks all around, and this is what he sees. <gasps> what a nasty surprise in his loudest voice, Timothy cries. There's a shark in the park. A shark? Oh, fancy that. No, it's only a cat. Meow. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope looks again through his telescope. He looks at the sky, he looks at the ground, he looks left and right, he looks all around, and this is what he sees. Ah, what a terrible sight. Timothy yells with all his might. There's a shark in the park. Let's see. Oh, a shark. Oh, no. It's just a crow. Caw, caw. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope looks one, takes one more look through his telescope. He looks at the sky, he looks on the ground, he looks left and right, he looks all around, and this is what he sees. <gasps> Tim's not in any doubt. What do you think he's about to shout? There's a shark in the park! A shark? No, it's not, and aren't you glad? As a matter of fact, it's Timothy's dad. Time to go home, Timothy. Timothy Pope says, it's safe to say there are no sharks in the park today. Uh-oh, what's that? Quack. Uh-oh, the end it all. But I'm pretty sure if you go to the park park in Fairlawn, you're not going to find a shark. I've never seen them. So I think it's safe, kids. Get to the park. Get some nice fresh air. Okay, and now we're going to do a little rhyme, and we're going back to the old babies. So let's do a rhyme about some babies. Let's put some fingers up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to pretend that each finger is a baby. Wah, wah. Okay, here we go. This little baby rocked the cradle. This little baby jumped in bed. This little baby crawled on the carpet. This little baby bumped his head. This little baby played hide and seek. Where's the little baby? Uh-oh, peek. 
Uh oh, peek. Uh oh, peek. That's so fun. Let's do it one more time. You ready? This little baby rocked the cradle. This little baby jumped in bed. This little baby crawled in carpet. This little baby bumped his head. This little baby played hide and seek. Where's the little baby? Uh oh, peek. Uh oh, peek. Uh oh, peek. The end. Hide and seek, so fun, right? Okay, now it's time for Where is Mother? And this is a lot like Thumpkin. You ready? So we're gonna start with Where is Mother? Where is Mother? Where is Mother? I'm right here. I'm right here. How are you, dear mother? Very well, I thank you. Please stay near. Please stay near. Now we're going to do father. And remember, you can customize this for your own family if your family looks different. Here we go. Where is father? Where is father? I'm right here. I'm right here. How are you, dear father? Very well, I thank you. Please stay near. Please stay near. And I think I'm going to do uncle. How about an uncle? In front of a very tall uncle. He's a tall man. Where is uncle? Where is uncle? I'm right here. I'm right here. How are you, dear uncle? Very well, I thank you. Please stay near. Please stay near. Okay, now we're going to do grandma. Let's do grandma with ring man. Where is grandma? Where is grandma? I'm right here. I'm right here. How are you, dear grandma? Very well, I thank you. Please stay near. Please stay near. Now we're going to do baby. You ready? Where is baby? Where is baby? I'm right here. I'm right here. How are you, dear baby? Very well, I thank you. Please stay near. Please stay near. Yeah, you did a good job. And I have one fun. I don't know. I have this story. Let's go back to mama's. Back to mama's, my friends. And this is called, Is Your Mama a Llama? Okay. Here we go. Is your mama a llama? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. Can you tell what Dave is? Oh, look at that. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not think that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like, oh, what do you think that is? Uh, Bat! Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. Here's Fred right down here. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. She has a long neck and feathers and wings. I do not think that llamas have all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be, ah, uh, what is this? Swan! Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say, moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Moo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a... 
Kangaroo! Sure, Mama Llama, I yes, asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, said Lynn with a grin. My mama has black, big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you of all people should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end. The end. Yay! Great. And now I have a little song about mommies. Are you ready? And if this is how it goes. And if you have a mommy, you can give them a hug, you know. Or if you're not with your mommy, take maybe a stuffed animal, give it a hug. This is how this goes. I, I love you, mommy, my dearest mommy. You make me happy when I am sad. I want to show you how much I love you. Here's a hug to show I care, yay. And now let's roll right into that because we love our family so much for some skidamarink. All right, because we just love our family. So when we love this song, here we go. Skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you. Skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you. Yes, I do. Yay. Great job. And now it's time for our very last story and it's called all the ways I love you. And did you know that animals, mommies and daddies love their children just like humans do? It's true. And we're going to see that now. What kind of animal is this? Yeah, it's the giraffe. Baby giraffe asks mama, do you love me a lot? And his mama answers, I love your very last spot. Who's this? It's a penguin. Penguin, they waddle. Papa Penguin says, we'll curl up warm and nice. And baby penguin knows he'll be snug on the ice. <gasps> it's the lion. Rawr. Baby lion cuddles by his mama's side. And his mama tells him, you'll be the best in the pride. Owl. Hoo! Hoo! Mama Owl hoots, I'll watch you through the night. Because when Mama's close, everything's all right. Oh, it's the bear. Arr. Baby bear sighs under Mama's soft touch, and Mama Bear tells him, I love you so much. The end. Oh, such a nice story, isn't it? Okay, and now it's laps at time, so... If you are a little baby, sit in your grown-up's lap, and we're going to do some rhymes. If you are a toddler, you can do this on your own. You can get a stuffed animal friend, and you do my part. and Put your stuffed animal friend just like I'm doing right here. Okay? And the first thing we're going to do, this is a rhyme about grandmas and grandpas, and it's called Quiet Time. You ready? Okay. Grandma's chair is rocking, rocking. Grandpa's clock is tick-a-tocking. Rock, 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 tick, tock, tick, tock. Grandma's chair will stop its rocking. Grandpa's clock keeps tick-a-tocking. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Shh. One more time, you ready? So let's start with rocking. Grandma's chair is rocking, rocking. Grandpa's clock is tick a tocking. Rock, 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 tick, tock, tick, tock. 
Grandma's chair will stop her rocking. Grandpa's clock keeps tick-a-tocking. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Yep, good job. Okay, and now Father and Mother and Uncle John. You ready? Father and Mother and Uncle John went to town one by one. Father fell off, mother fell off, but Uncle John rode on and on and on. Okay, one more time, you ready? Father and mother and Uncle John went to town one by one. Father fell off, mother fell off, and Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on. Good job, okay, and now, we're going to do some hopping around the room. So if you want, you can hop on your own. And if you're little, if you're a grown up with someone very little, you can put them in their arms like this. Okay, you ready to hop? And you can just hop all around the room. Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Okay, one more time. Get ready to hop. You ready? Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Good job. That's such an easy one, isn't it? That's such an easy rhyme to learn, and yet it's so much fun. And you can just do that, especially good if that's a day you can't get to the park. And if you can get to the park, you can hop around the park today until we all are stop. Very fun rhyme. Okay. And now, actually, I'm going to leave this friend up. We are going to take a trip to grandma's far grandpa's farm. So maybe you have a grandpa, raise your hand who's a grandpa. Maybe your grandpa lives in a farm. Chances are he doesn't, but this is still a fun song. Are you ready? And we're gonna start with a curly white sheep. Here we go. We're on the way, we're on the way, on the way to grandpa's farm. We're on the way, we're on the way, on the way to grandpa's farm. Down on grandpa's farm, there is a curly white sheep. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a curly white sheep. The sheep, he makes a sound like this. Bah! The sheep, he makes a sound like this. Bah! Oh, we're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. We're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a pretty pink pig. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a pretty pink pig. The pig, he makes a sound like this. Oink, oink. The pig, he makes a sound like this. Oink, oink. Oh, we're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. We're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a big orange chicken. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a big orange chicken. The chicken, he makes a sound like this. Cluck, cluck. The chicken, she makes a sound like this. Cluck, cluck. Oh, we're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. We're on the way, we're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a pretty brown horse. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a pretty brown horse. The horse, he makes a sound like this. Name. The horse, he makes a sound like this. Nay. Oh, we're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. We're on the way, we're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. Last one. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a black spotted cow. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a black spotted cow. The cow, he makes a sound like this. Moo, the cow, he makes a sound like this. Moo, oh, we're on the way. We're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. We're on the way, we're on the way, on the way to Grandpa's farm. Yay, great job, guys. And you could do that at home. Do that at home with your stuffed animals. And it could even be an enormous green dino. It could be whatever you have. You can make it work. Grandpa's farm does not have to be traditional. It can be unusual, just like all our families are, right? All of our families are a little different. And now, without further ado, it's time for our ABCs and zero to twenties. You ready? Here we go. Let's count to three. One, two, three. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now I count from zero to twenty. And I know my ABCs because we're all so smart, right? You kids are so smart. And you know what? We all love you so much. You are so precious to your families. So I hope you enjoyed the stories today. Grownups, if you want the words to anything we've done, please look in the show notes for this week. And please come back next week for some of our furry family members, you'll see. But now I think it's time to say goodbye to our friends. So you ready? We're gonna get our waving hands. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye again. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye, goodbye. So goodbye, friends, and I'll see all of you next week. Bye.